Till the rivers all run dry I am very excited, I am full of joy I'm moving from a life of being a single man to a married man Yeah, I believe I know that this is a life here will be much more favored I'll be needing you. Ah, uh, that person that that was destined for me is none other than Danish Oliver. The blessed woman, the blessed lady I'm going to marry is Sister Anna Tuya Howe. Uh, I'm excited that. I've met my group and the lady of my life, the one I'm going to marry. Wow. Yeah. Meeting her, I met her from Youth of Divine Destiny Ministries. We met in the ministry, that is YDD. We are both children there in the ministry. Uh, as me, I was just doing my usual things, you know, serving God, praising the Lord, enjoying the God, enjoying in the Holy Ghost. And uh, we were once in a department, but definitely there we were serving, just serving. We didn't have anything attached. Uh, the first time I met her, I looked at her as a, as a sister in the ministry. And surely my heart didn't go into relationship. First sight, first no. I, 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 we stayed together. The, the, the time I realized that I was going to marry her was in 2015. I remember in 2015 we went to Berenga. For, 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 for the ministry day out. I tried to even be around her, to ask her her name, to ask what she likes and all that. She never wanted to answer me. And even though sometimes I hurt you. I knew I was meant to marry her. No matter what was on my way, I knew that was a choice and uh, that God had backed up for me. If I need you, cause I'll need you. The time was too good, okay, too good, too good, exceptional good. But me as looking at him as, as a brother, at him as a brother. You know, that making this lady, it was a challenging thing for me to propose to her. Why? Um, 2015. Around April, March, there when we I got to know clearly that she was the one I was to marry. In December, in November, she was brought into my department where I was the department head. She was serving as a member. Imagine you are leading someone you know is going to be your wife. There are times when you need results and you really need to. Okay, all the times you need results and you really need to see things work out. I'm sure this lady saw how I behave when I need things done and when I'm on pressure and I need things to be done. So it took me time to, re to, 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 to propose to her until I said, okay, let me wait, maybe 2015 to 2016, they will change her to another department. Then I can easily talk to her. And 2016, she, was, she actually became my vice. 2016, 2017, we're in the same department conversion board. I could not still propose to her, and I've not told my leaders. So, but 2017, um, uh, 31st of December, I opened up my heart and talked to Pastor Geoffrey about uh, about the lady I would like to marry, and uh, my apostle and my father just said that is very okay. I don't need to pray about this. Oh. The joy that was in my heart. <laughs> I left that house. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. I jumped. I was so full of joy. The sky. Till life on earth is through. So, she came 
over, I told her what was in my heart. I said I would love to marry you, I would love to spend the rest of my life with you, and uh, I love you to be my wife. I told her, I said I love you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Of course, I told her my vision in life. So she told me, said, okay. I remember those were her words. She said, said, okay. Say it. I, I will get back to you. I was happy, yes, because even me, you know, when you're praying, when you've set yourself, you're ready, I, you're not surprised at anything. You know, surely this is the reading of the Holy Spirit. But I did not faint, I did not shout, no, I did not jump, jump around. I had also to take my time, okay? not to move just by feeling. I had to be very sure. You know, when someone proposes and you shout, you know, you hug, you jump, this one will know that, yes, that is a sure answer. But I also had to take my time, yeah, and be very, very sure. I first went into that place of prayer, yes, before I was praying, but even at this time, I had to be sure, you know, when you involve the Holy Spirit, you don't take a decision which is not the right one. So I had to involve him. And you know, at this time, I well knew that the Holy Spirit speaks because of the teachings we've been receiving. So I knew this friend of mine, when I speak to him, the Holy Spirit, when I speak to him in this issue, he will give me the right direction. And I also sought counsel before giving him the response. But basically, when he proposed, I didn't fail. I didn't shout. I played, played it cool. And after some time, yeah. I always call her honey, darling, love. Till the sun falls from the sky. My special message to him is, uh, first of all, I want to appreciate him. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to him for his kindness. I know among us the many, he really decided to pick me and we move together as one and as a person I really pledge to honor and submit to him for the glory of God and the fulfillment of God's purpose in this world. The pain of my life, the sweetheart, is that I love you so dearly. I believe in you and I'm ready to be faithful to you. I've tested of your goodness of my life changing, and I so dearly love you. I have you at heart. Everywhere I go, everywhere I move. If I was still be, had opportunity to still choose, darling, I would choose you. I love you with all my heart, and all that is within me, and all that I have, my money, my ministry, my dreams, my life belongs to you. I love you so dear. Dear friends, we are very excited that man finally, after 30 years and becoming a mister, all oh, huh? See this queen, she gave me her heart. And on the 9th, I'd like to welcome you. The story still continues. We have so much more. Come and be a part of our wedding, and it will be a blessing to us, to our history, in every bit of our lives. I'd like to say you very, very, very welcome. Thank you. Surely you are welcome you and we appreciate your support you've been giving us and we still need more from you it has not stopped today and it will not stop online it continues and we welcome your counsel we welcome your advice surely we are waiting for you and we know your lives will not remain the same by the fact of attending this wedding thank you we are waiting for you we love you